Okay guys, so to start off with, you want to create a new layer and just set up the layer mode to be multiply. Now what it does is, it just makes every color that you're using look dark. So even if you're using a lighter color, the color is going to appear darker than it already is. So keeping that in mind, you have to first create a base layer where you are putting in all the colors just to make, uh, just to make the grays just to give all the grays a color, so to speak. So once you have that, you want to create another layer. Now this time you want to set it up to overlay. Now what it's going to do is it is just going to lighten everything up just a little bit. So keeping that in mind again, just build up your color. So either you can just go over the object or the element that you're painting light-handed or what you can do is just to go with full force on it and then just go ahead and decrease the opacity of the layer Now, once you're happy with the placement of the base colors, just go ahead and create a new layer. Now, this time set it up to normal. Now, what we have to do is our main goal is to eliminate any gray that we might have on our paintings. You still can have a little bit of grays here and there, but the goal, main goal here is to just turn those gray colors to actual real colors just to make it look more um, realistic, I should say, or more alive yes more alive so that is what i'm doing here with my skin palette that i have so if you haven't watched the video where i i teach you guys how to paint skin then you should definitely go check that video out i will link that video down in the description also i have a video on how to blend colors with blending tool without blending tool and how to blend colors in autodesk sketchbook so whatever i'm doing here you can also do this on the sketchbook so yeah just keep that in mind and I will link all the videos down in the description so here what I'm doing is I'm just picking up random colors random skin colors and just building it up over all of the grays that I think I should get rid of just to make my painting look more alive and so you guys I'm not going to be teach you each and every little detail right here that I'm doing so you just have to keep in mind three main tips that I told you. You first have to create a multiply layer and then you have to create an overlay layer. So multiply is going to just darken things up for you and it's going to give you a good base. Then you are going to go with the overlay layer which is going to lighten things up and then you want to go with the normal layer just to get rid of every grace that you might have on your painting. And then you can go ahead and, you know, use the highlights on your painting if you're painting a portrait or something like that. So highlights is the thing which you are going to be doing at the end of the whole painting process. Also, I'm keeping all the blacks that I might have on my painting pure blacks and I'm not changing the color of, color of them. But if you want to, you can go ahead and make them look dark maroonish or maybe dark brownish depending on the portrait you are painting or maybe any element or object you have that you are painting so that just depends on you but I like to keep it pure black
also this time you can add any element any extra element that you might want to add so I'm just going over uh, you know her shoulders and just creating like a cloth like thing around her so yeah you could do that without having to change the layer mode again just do it in the normal layer mode So another great tip is to, you know, kind of create something in the background and just blurring it out and using Gaussian Blur just to, you know, make your artwork pop out a little bit more. So here I'm just adding some highlights on the skin and also some texture on the skin as well. So for texture, I'm using some skin texture brush that I downloaded for free for Procreate. And I do have a video on that as well. Free Procreate brushes. And I will link that down below as well. And here I'm just highlighting everything. So uh, yeah, I'm just going crazy with it. But you can, you know do whatever you like or yeah just depends on you
so here I'm just going crazy with my artwork and I'm just adding few glow balls and I'm just also I'm also adding some light that is hitting on the face and I'm just doing everything with the normal layer and I'm using luminous brush a uh, light brush from luminous brush set to do this now the key here is to once you are happy with the elimination of the grays from your artwork I should say then you can just go ahead and build build it up in your own way so I'm not saying you should get rid of every gray or black that you have on your painting but you still want to make it colored rather than you know gray because it just looks way more alive if that makes sense so a good tip to add light on the face is to create a layer just above your artwork or the portrait that you have and just add clipping mask and just increase the size of the light brush or, or light pen maybe and you know just brush away from the face so the glow of the brush would hit the face as if a, a, the light of from the glow ball is hitting the face i hope that makes sense so yeah guys that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys the next time